you, you really don't see the pain that that she's going through because um, she doesn't want to show it. But it, it, it's been something that is extremely painful for a mom to search for her son in a in, in an area that she doesn't know. Six weeks after the disappearance of Pablo Andres Aguera Jacom, a student from Ecuador who came to study at Trebas Institute in Montreal just last year, his family says there's no trace of him and police aren't doing enough to find the 23-year-old. Her son is very vulnerable right now. He can be anywhere. He can be um, in a um, hospital. He can be in a snowbank. He can be somewhere um, in the streets of Montreal. Hakom's mother coming to Montreal to join the search for her son, his loved ones reaching out to City News for help. The biggest thing that she's encountered in the hurdle is the fact that anytime she calls a hospital or goes to a hospital or does inquiries, they say that because of confidentiality, they can't really do anything. So she finds herself really running in circles, trying to find her son, knowing that her son needs help. Pablo came to Montreal as an international student last October and was last seen on January 30th. His mother says she spoke to him that day and felt like he was struggling with mental health. She says in the last conversation with her son, she felt that he needed help, but told him to relax, saying she hoped to speak to him again later on in the day, a phone call that was never answered. Pablo was last seen here two days after his disappearance at St. Michel Metro Station, wearing a blue jacket and black pants. In a statement, SPVM say investigations are still ongoing, adding that they are taking the situation very seriously and are sparing no effort to find Pablo. Un chico muy sincero. He's very sincere. Um, he's a giver. He loves to help. Um, he loves to, to feed the elderly. A march is planned this Saturday, which will be the 40th day since Pablo's disappearance. His loved ones hoping to raise more awareness, not only about Pablo, but the many others that have gone missing. There are so many other missing um, children, adults in the community, um, individuals that suffer from mental health and individuals that's never been found. And she wants to be that voice. She wants to be the voice for not only her son, but others that are other families in the area that is missing a loved one and that hasn't really been heard. In a letter, Marina writes all she wants to do is to go back to Ecuador and to her house with her son. In Montreal, Fleish Adam, City News.